Welcome, YouTubers, to another episode in my Grammar Hero series. In today's video, there will be four practice test questions assessing your knowledge of the order of operations, which is a topic that sometimes shows up in the mathematics knowledge subtest of the Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery, as well as the pre-screening internet-delivered computer adaptive test, that is the PICATS. Just so you're aware, I took these questions uh, from the older videos on my channel. Uh, so for that reason, they're not going to be in order. In order to get the most out of this video, you'll want to pause the video after I read a practice question, attempt to work out the practice question on your own, and then resume playing the video to check your solution. Guys, let me stress this. I've noticed that uh, some expensive ASVAB tutors may be going through my free content and creating similar content in an effort to get you to sign up for expensive tutoring, please do not do that. If, for whatever reason, you struggle with these four practice test questions, just keep in mind that I have videos where I take these topics and break them down into greater detail. As a matter of fact, you can see that on July 1st, I uploaded a video called Order of Operations, what you need to know for the math subtest of the ASVAB. So if you struggle with these four practice test questions, just go watch this video. And of course, I'll put a link to it in the description of this video. What's more, I want to stress this. Instead of signing up for an expensive ASVAB boot camp, you can simply go to my playlist on my YouTube channel. And as you'll see, many of these topics are there. So for instance, in my algebra review, uh, playlist for the ASVAB and PICAT. Uh, you can see that there is a video just on the order of operations. Guys, my playlists are getting tens of thousands of views. Everything you need to pass this test is available for free on my channel. And you're going to notice time and time again that people are going through my playlist and creating similar content in an effort to get you to pay for their online resources. Just don't fall for it. Uh, it's not worth it in my opinion, but that's my opinion alone. If you want to help my channel out, please don't send me a donation or anything like that. Again, I post all my content for free to help people uh, study for and pass this test on their own. Uh, instead, you can just simply subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. So again, save your money. Just click that subscribe button and uh, all is good. With all that being said, Let's go ahead and get started with today's video. Number 43 says simplify the following expression. Uh, we have 17 minus 6 divided by 2 plus 4 times 3. So you might be asking yourself, how am I going to simplify this expression? There's a lot of operations going on here. Whenever that's the case, you always fall back on the order of operations which I remember using the acronym PEMDAS, or please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. That is to say, we're going to do what's in parentheses first, exponents next, multiplication and division from left to right, that is, they're treated as equals, and then addition and subtraction from left to right, that is, they're treated as equals. Well, let's look through this expression, and we should see that we do have something in parentheses. So we got to start with parentheses. And now that we're in parentheses, these order of operations uh, start over basically. So in parentheses, we have subtraction and division. Clearly division comes before subtraction. So we're going to do this division first, and then we'll take care of that subtraction. So this is going to be uh, 17 minus six divided by two is three plus four times three. Uh, we're still working in parentheses, but we only have one operation left, notably subtraction. So this is 17 minus 3, which is 14, plus 4 times 3. And right here, we have two operations left, notably addition and multiplication. Of course, we do multiplication before addition. So let's take care of that. Uh, 4 times 3 is 12. So this is 14 plus 12. And you should know that that's going to be 26. So the answer to this one is A, 26. All right, so uh, number 20 says simplify the expression. We have 3 times 11 plus 2 in parentheses squared minus 18 divided by 6. So let's go ahead and copy this down in case you're watching this video on a small mobile device. 
we have 3 times 11 plus 2 uh, squared minus 18 divided by 6. Whenever you see a problem that's all jumbled up like this, and there's a bunch of operations going on at once, that should be a clue that you're going to have to use the order of operations to simplify the expression. Of course, the order of operations is best remembered by the acronym PEMDAS, or please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. This tells you the order in which to work out something like this. You do what's in parentheses first, exponents next, multiplication and division as they appear in the expression from left to right, that is, you treat them like equals, and then finally, you do addition and subtraction as they appear in the expression from left to right, that is to say, you treat those as equals as well. Well, if we look through our expression here, you can see that uh, we do have something in parentheses, notably 11 plus 2, so that's where we're going to start. That is squared, so that is an exponent, so we'll have to take care of that. After that, we do have some multiplication and division, which we'll have to take care of before we do our subtraction. So let's go ahead and get started. Again, we're going to start by looking at what's in parentheses. In parentheses, we have 11 plus 2. 11 plus 2, of course, is uh, 13. So we took care of our parentheses there. Next, we have to move on and work on exponents. And as you can see, uh, we have 13 squared. Uh, you should know that 13 squared is 169. Uh, in the event that you don't, though, you can always do it like this. 13 squared is the same thing as 13 times 13. Uh, 3 times 3 is 9, of course. Uh, 1 times 3 is 3. Before we start multiplication with this 1, we have to bring in a 0 placeholder. 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times 1 is 1. This becomes 130, or 39 plus 130, which is going to be 169. All right, so 13 squared is 169. This is minus 18 divided by 6. So we took care of our exponents. Uh, now let's see what we have left. We have 3 times 169 minus 18 divided by 6. Uh, so clearly we're going to do multiplication and division before addition and subtraction. Uh, that said, uh, we do multiplication and division as they appear in the expression from left to right. Well, as it happens, 3 times 169 came first. So that's what we're going to work out first. So we have 169 times 3. Uh, 9 times 3 is 27, so drop down a 7 and carry it 2. Uh, 6 times 3 is 18, 19, 20, so bring down a 0 and carry a 2. And 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 is 5. So this is 507 minus 18 divided by 6. We took care of our multiplication. Uh, clearly, we only have subtraction and division left, and we always do division before subtraction. So let's go ahead and do that. This is 507 minus, what is 18 divided by 6? That is 3. We took care of our division. Uh, now we just have subtraction left. 507 minus 3 is going to be 504, which is answer choice A. All right, so this uh, first question says simplify. We have 1 plus 3 in parentheses squared minus 2 times parentheses 4 minus 7. So whenever you have a problem that's all jumbled up like this, you should realize that you're going to have to make use of the order of operations to uh, work it out in the correct order. In case you haven't seen those in a while, order of operations are best remembered by the acronym uh, PEMDAS, or please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. And the order of operations tells you how to work out these expressions. That is to say, you work what's in parentheses first. Again, P is for parentheses. Then you work on exponents next. Again, E is for exponents. And then you work on multiplication and division as they appear in the expression from left to right. That is to say, multiplication and division have equal precedence, meaning that if you get division before multiplication, you would take care of the division. And then finally, you go through your expression and you work out addition and subtraction 
as they appear in the expression from left to right. That is to say, they also have equal precedence. So that said, uh, in case you're watching this on a mobile device, let me go ahead and copy this problem down for you. Okay, we have one plus three squared minus two times four minus seven. Again, as we just saw, the first thing we're gonna work on is what's in parentheses. And in this expression, we have one plus three in parentheses and four minus seven in parentheses. So let's go ahead and take care of that. One plus three is pretty easy. That's four. So this is gonna leave us with four squared minus two. And then four minus seven is gonna be negative three. All right, so uh, we took care of what's in parentheses. Now, uh, according to the order of operations, we're looking for exponents next. And if we look through our expression, we can see there's only one instance of an exponent, notably four squared. So let's take care of that. So this becomes four squared, which is 16 minus two times negative three. All right, so we only have two operations left. We have 16 minus two, which is subtraction. But that said, we have this two times negative three, which is multiplication. Again, multiplication comes before subtraction. Uh, so we're gonna do this multiplication first, and then we'll take care of that subtraction. So this becomes 16 minus uh, two times negative three is uh, negative six. But that said, uh, you could regard this as negative two times negative three, which would make this positive six. Okay, so we just took care of that multiplication. And now we just have one operation left, notably addition. 16 plus six is 22. So the correct answer to this one is A. Again, uh, you had to use the order of operations to uh, work this one out correctly. All right, number 20 says, uh, simplify the expression. We have seven times uh, five minus two squared in parentheses minus 15 divided by three times two. So let's just go ahead and copy this one down. We have seven times five minus two squared minus 15 divided by three times two. Whenever you're asked to simplify expressions in which everything's jumbled up like this, you know you're gonna make use of the order of operations. And in case you haven't seen those in a while, uh, the order of operations are remembered by this acronym, uh, PEMDAS, or please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Uh, this refers to the order in which you simplify expressions like this one. That is to say, uh, you work out parentheses first, exponents next, multiplication and division as they appear from left to right, and addition and subtraction as they appear from left to right. Again, multiplication and division are equals, so you do them from left to right. Addition and subtraction are equals, so you do those likewise from left to right. All right, so let's scan through our expression here, and right away we do see we have parentheses. So let's go ahead and take care of parentheses first. So we have seven times five minus two, which is three squared minus 15 divided by three times two. So we took care of our parentheses. Uh, now we're looking for exponents. And as we can see, we do have an exponent. So we're gonna do that next. This becomes seven times three squared is nine. Seven times nine minus 15 divided by three times two. So we did our exponents. Uh, now we're working on multiplication and division as they appear from left to right. So uh, right here, we have seven times nine. So we're gonna do that first. Seven times nine is 63. Again, minus 15 divided by three times two. Again, we're still working on multiplication and division as they pair from left to right. And we have division right here. So this is 63 minus 15 divided by three is five times two. And as we can see, now we only have subtraction and multiplication. Of course, multiplication comes before uh, subtraction. So this is 63 minus five times two, which is 10. 63 minus 10 is 53. So we can see the answer to this one is gonna be 53.
All right, so that is it for this video. Uh, as always, I hope you found this video helpful. And as usual, you're more than welcome to leave feedback in the comment section below. If you answered these four questions correctly, that's great. Chances are you know about the order of operations already. Uh, that said, if you struggled with these practice test questions, instead of paying for tutoring, you can simply go to my algebra review playlist and find my video on the order of operations. And on that note, I'm going to go ahead and cut you loose. Konnichiwa.